Welcome to video 65 in series 3, and in this video I'm going to write the item sound script. Okay, so this script is pretty much responsible for playing some sort of sound when you throw an item. So I'll just call it item sounds, open it up. Okay, so it's going to be pretty simple. I won't need the start and update methods. And I'll just have here void play throw sound. Now you could expand the script and make it so that you also play a pickup sound. I'm just going to keep it really, really simple. Uh, private item master, item master, and public float default volume, and uh, a public audio clip, a throw sound. Okay, so in set initial references, as usual, item master is get component, item master, and I'll call that set initial references. Now, when do I want to play the throw sound? Whenever I throw the game object, uh, well, this item. So I'll just simply say item master dot event object throw plus equal uh, play throw sound. So play throw can't spell throw sound. There we go. Okay, and also unsubscribe. As I was saying, you could make another method there that when you pick it up, uh, it makes a sound as well. Okay, and then inside of play throw sound, I'll say, I'll just check here first of all that if throw sound not equal to null, so no point trying to play a sound if there's nothing there. I'll put here audio source dot play clip at point. Now it takes a couple of parameters. I am going to give it all of these three. So which clip do I want to play? First of all, the throw sound. What position? Transform dot position, so wherever this item is. And then what volume? I'm just going to put the default volume value. All right, and that is it. Uh, I can't think of anything else. I'm pretty sure I can attach that and get going. Okay, so item sounds, default volume, I'll get like 0.4. Now I don't have a proper throw sound, but for the sake of testing I can just use anything. So I could use one of these, like the character ones. Let's come back here and just drop in like for example the jump sound, just, just for checking. Alright, so I'll just run that, I'll just put my headset on and there we go. Yep, that's working. So you won't hear that, but when you write the script and you put in the sound and you play it, you'll hear it. It'll be working, and that's all good. All right, so that's it for this video. Of course, you probably want to go get a proper sound and put that in, but it serves as an example, and as I said, you could expand that so you have a pickup sound as well. All right, thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.